Building a reliable web infrastructure involves several critical components, SIP proxies, media servers, databases, monitorings, and so on. These elements work together to provide voice communication services like IVR, voicemail, or conference calls. Let's dive into a practical example with our open source VoIP telephony framework. Picture this. We are running three Camellio servers playing the role of our SIP proxies. These servers are the gatekeepers managing incoming SIP traffic from different VoIP providers. They route these invites to our cluster of asterisk and free switch servers. And our system is buzzing with incoming VoIP traffic from multiple providers. But there is a catch. Most SIP providers place a limitation. They don't allow us to use more than one IP address or domain name for accepting incoming traffic. Additionally, in the face of downtime, things get even more challenging. Handling multiple IP addresses and coordinating with our SIP trunk providers for necessary tweaks becomes a complex and demanding responsibility. Keep Life is an invaluable tool that offers IP failover and load balancing capabilities. With it, you can provide a single virtual IP address for your SIP trunk providers, regardless of whether your primary Camellio server is up or down. Today's agenda is focused on the installation and configuration of KeepLife, starting with a live demonstration featuring three Camellio servers. In our demonstration, we set up three Camellio servers with IP failover through KeepLife. Our virtual IP address 192.168.0.200 will be active on our primary server. If by any chance the primary server experiences an outage, the virtual IP address will automatically shift to the server with the second highest priority. And in the rare event that if the second server also goes down, the virtual IP address will transition to the server with the third highest priority. This robust setup ensures availability through various scenarios. Okay, let's jump into the demo and see how the KeepAlive works in action. We have three servers, RL801, RL802 and RL803 that the uh, virtual IP address that is assigned by Keep Alive is active on the first server. Let's reboot the first server. As you can see, as we are rebooting, the IP address of um, 0.200 is assigned to the second server. And if I reboot the second server, the IP address will be assigned to the third server. Of course, I showed you this demo with the reboot, but it can be uh, active even for the services such as the Camellio, Astris network or whatever. That's uh, what we learn in the video, that how to enable KeepAlive-D, how to install KeepAlive-D and how to uh, activate it for a specific service. Before we get into all technical stuff about setting up KeepAlive, let's pause for a moment and uncover an important player in this game, VRRP, which stands for Virtual Router Redundancy Protocol. Let's break down VRRP in the easiest way possible. Imagine you are at a party and everyone got a phone with their contact info saved. But there is a twist, instead of names, we are using IP addresses to chat with the computers. Now, when one computer wants to talk to another, it's like shouting out, hey, who has this IP address? Think of it as of asking of someone number. This message goes to all the computers in the room. We've got three Camellio servers here. When the question pops up, who has the IP address of 192.168.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.
So if anyone asks for our VIP, I'm the one whose answers with the MAC address. But hang on, the current boss Camellio server gets tired for a breakdown. It's all good, the other Camellio servers are in line, ready to take over. So in a nutshell, VRRP is like an agreement among our servers. They take turns being the boss for our special VIP address. If one needs a break, the others step up. It's all about keeping the conversation going, even if the computers need a little break.